Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video we're going to be learning about security certificates. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So just before we get started with the different security that you can use for your website, we're going to go ahead and talk about the security certificates. So security certificates are also known as SSL and TLS. Now, if you may be wondering what SSL and TLS means, SSL basically means secure sockets layer and TLS means transport layer security. So I'll explain those later on in the video. But anyway, uh, these two are basically uh, certificates or digital certificates and are cryptographic files that are used to establish secure connections and ensure the authenticity and integrity of websites or online services. So they'd more be commonly used as a way or a gateway for people to do payments. So mainly e-commerce as well. But on top of that, some people like to see the fact that you do have a secure website with that tiny uh, little lock on your website. I'll actually show that on screen now. So of course, as a visitor or as a user that's coming to your website, you want to feel secure. You want to make sure that you're not going to get any sort of virus uh, coming into your website. So that's another way of feeling secure. So it's a sense of security. That's what we're talking about now. But anyway, uh, these certificates are only issued by tr trusted third party organizations known as the certificate authorities. So that's CA as a abbreviation. So now that we've discussed what exactly a security certificate is, we're going to go ahead and talk about the encryption and the authentication. So starting off, um, when a website has a security certificate installed, it enables secure communication between the user's browser and of course the web server. Now it has two main purposes. So the first one is encryption. So security certificates enable encryption of data transmitted between the user's browser and the web server. So if you do have encryption, usually I'll put it up on screen now. So uh, if you don't have an encryption, it should show as HTTP, but if you do have encryption, uh, encryption, it should show up as HTTPS. So of course the S is your secure or security. So anyway, this encryption ensures that the sensitive information such as login credentials, personal data, financial details are pretty much protected from unauthorized access or interception by malicious actors. Now, it also prevents eavesdropping and tampering with data in transit. So for the authentication, security certificates provide authentication by verifying the identity and legitimacy of the actual website. So this is where they confirm that the website is owned and operated by the entity it claims to be. And of course, this then establishes the trust between the user's browser and the server. What the certificate includes is information such as the actual website domain's name. So with the likes of us, it's profile tree. And then of course the owner of profile tree and then the issuing of the uh, certificate authority. Now doing this process uh, is basically a verification process that helps protect against phishing attacks and ensures users are interacting with legitimate websites. So I'll actually do a representation or an example on the authentication. So normally, of course, you visit that domain, you type in your credentials, identity, or you know, password, username. Uh, of course, then that goes through a verification process, and then all you would need to do then is accept the cookies. So you'd know then that you're in a legitimate website, one that is secure for the actual user to use. 